हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सैयद शकीब इमरान एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड दिस इज आवर सेवन ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ दिस कोर्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू यूज एरे लिस्ट और एरे इन अ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बिफोर गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डिक्लेयर एंड यूज लिस्ट इन अ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू सम बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट लिस्ट एंड एरे नो इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज Python doesn't have a native array data structure like other languages like Java or C sharp but it has the list which is much more general and easy to use now what is list list also called array or vector it can hold any number of values values are ordered can be expanded by adding elements and you can also shrunk by removing elements and you can easily alter the values of the element i will show you this three types in this video one by one it has a very simple and easy syntax now let's start open python ideally that is also known as python shell click on it now first of all i will tell you how to declare and use simple and easy list like declare first variable that is y equal to sign and a square bracket open and a square bracket close this square brackets indicate that is a list and the values of the list are placed inside this square brackets like i am giving 1 2 44 55 66 77 so this is my list you can say array list and that are the their, their values 1 2 4 and then press enter look at the syntax a variable name y equal to sign and a square brackets and the value of the list is within square brackets now if you want to print this list just write press y your variable name and press enter look at this your output 1 2 44 55 66 77 and this is simple and general way to use list as an array now you can use multiple data type values in a list single list like i am declaring variable x and a list that contain a numeric value that is 1 and a string values that is any name like country and a comma comma indicates separate value this is a separate value and this is a separate value and then this is a separate value like this is float values are decimal values 3.0 that is float values this double quotes values are string values this one is a numeric value and a square bracket close like write x and press enter it will gives an output one country 3.0 that is list data are stored in a variable x when i want to print this list i just write x and press enter it's give me an output the list values okay now how to add values in a list it has a very simple and easy way like a variable name if you want to insert or add values in a list that are storing a variable name x just write variable name x and a dot operator and append keyword a double p e and e append keyword and a round bracket now what you have to put or write within round brackets you have to write actual value that you want to insert or add in your list like i want to add 25 in my list date 
that are stored in a variable x. So I just write x dot append round bracket and actual value that is 25 and press enter. Now look at it. When I will print the list of x, it gives me an output like 1 country 3.0 and a 25 that I have insert recently. 25. Now how to remove values from the list? There is multiple ways. You can use either del keyword and a variable name and a square bracket. What you have to write within this square bracket? You have to write index number of that value that you want to delete from the list. Like what is index value? Basically index value start with 0 and so on. Now the first value of your list is a place of index 0. This country is a value of index 1. This 3.0 the value of index is 2. The element start from the list that have an index value is 0. Like if I am talking about the value list of y, the first value 1, its index position is 0. The second value of y is 2, its index position is 1 and so on. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I want to delete value that is placed in a 0, 1, 2, index number 2 that is 3.0. I want to delete 3.0 from a list x. So I just write here their index value. What does what the index value of 3.0 is? 2 because the this one is 0, this one is 1, and this one is 2. The index value of 3.0 is 2. So I just write 2 and press enter. Now again print the list of x. Look at this. 1 country and 25. 1 country and 25. 3.0 is deleted from the list of x. Now you can another way you can delete just use remove keyword. Now I want to remove 44 from the list of y. So I just write variable name y dot remove keyword and a round back. Remember one thing. If you are using this square brackets for delete value from a list, you must have to write their index value. Like I have right here 2 as an index value. They deleted 3.0. Now in remove keyword you can use round brackets. What do you have to write this round bracket? You have to write actual value that you want to delete from the list. Like I want to delete 44 from the list of y. So I just write here 44 not index value. I just write actual value that I want to remove from the list. I want to remove 44 from the list of y that is here. The index value of 44 is 2 but I put here actual value that is 44 and then press enter then again print list of y look at this 1 2 55 66 77 the value of 44 has been deleted look at this 1 2 and the third value is 44 and now the current list 1 2 55 the value of 44 has been deleted so this one is for adding this one is for deleting by index number this one is for deleting by actual number now how to alter values from the list like I want to change this value 77 that are stored in a variable y so I just write y and its index number now what is the index number of 77 
look at this list because this is recently modified list 0 1 2 3 4 the index value of 77 is 4 so I just write 4 I just write 4 here because I use square brackets so I must have to write index value and equal to sign and the actual value that you want to replace like I want to put here 100 instead of 77 so I just write y as a variable value and index value that actual value that I want to modify or alter that is 4 the value of index 4 is 77 now what I have to write here I have to write actual value that take place of 77 now I just write 100 and then press enter then again print by look at this 1 2 55 66 the value of 77 is altered as 100 look at this 1 2 55 66 are similar 1 2 55 56 are same but the value of 77 has changed that is 100 this is a simple way you can change and modify your list or index value easily now what you have to do like if you want to print a list in a range like so just you just have to use list keyword and a round bracket and give them range keyword your range start from one comma that like i want to print the values from 1 to 10 so I just write the here starting point that is 1 and ending point now I want to print 1 to 10 so I just give here 11 why 11 because that this work like n minus 1 11 minus 1 is 10 so they printed 1 to 10 values and a double round bracket close and press enter look at this the value from 1 to 10 are in array list that is within square brackets this list indicates that the value are in square brackets or array values now if you want to print even numbers in a list so what you have to do you have to use just square bracket as an indicate a list and an x variable for loop x in range like I want to print 1 to 20 so I just give 1 to 21 21 just for n minus 1 rule ok and a if condition that check that are even number or not x modular sign sorry modular sign 2 equal to 0 and a square bracket close look at this this square brackets indicate it is a list first of all it is a list and what I have write within this square brackets I just use a variable that is x and a for loop like the value from 1 to 21 are behave like oh sorry we have sorry every value from 1 to 21 is a x value every value from 1 to 20 is a x value now just I just print x and check the condition if x modulus sign 2 divided by 2 the basically the function of the modulus sign is just used as a remainder like the value of x is 2 for example 2 divided by 2 it checks the remainder is 0 if remainder is 0 then it's true they print their value like if x value is 3 3 divided by 2 and remainder does not 0 so it takes false so they don't print 3 it's basically a condition that check if the number is even or not 
and the variable of then this x is a value that I want to print and this x is a range of values from 1 to 20 so I just print enter look at this they give me an even number from 2 to 20 any sorry 1 to 20 but 1 is not an even number so it neglect and put to 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 these are even numbers okay if you want to print a list of even number you have to follow this line of code i hope you can understand how to use list, how to add variable in a list, how to remove variable list, how to alter values from a list, from in a list, how to use even number list. I hope you can understand. Please like, share and comment. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, please comment down. I will give you answer as soon as possible. In the next video, I am going to show you, I will show you how to use multi-dimensional array list. That is also very simple and easy. So stay tuned, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.